Hey guys, how's it going? So, the RV's been home for uh, two, three days now. And the kids been sleeping on it for two, three days. Yeah, <laughs> We're testing everything out and just see how it feel when you sleep on it, right? So we test every, everything like hot water and the furnace, air conditioner. So everything works, everything's good. But the one thing I don't like is because there's a bunk bed, but the bottom one is a full and the top one is a single. So the kids can't sleep on the top unless you want them to roll down and hit you in the head. So they've been sleeping on the bottom. So uh, me sleeping on the top and my wife sleeping on the sofa, which is not very comfortable. So here's what we're going to do now. I decided to take off this cabinet, remove it, and then just extend the bed, the top bunk all the way to the wall. And it's easy to do it off the wall which is not that difficult just a couple screws and then you pull it off and yeah just try to be careful don't want to damage any damage your wall there's a couple screw hole now on the on the wall I guess we can just fill that up no problem and already look much bigger all I gotta do now is just remove the top bunk and make another frame, the bed frame, and put it in. So it should look like the bottom one. Got the cat the middle part because there's nobody holding the camera for me. So, um, well, basically, I just took off the top bunk, the single one, and used the 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 trim and just cut it and make this corner look nice. And the bottom one, I didn't do anything to it because it's the it's it, it works so I didn't change anything and right now I just need to find another mattress like this one because this one's got the corner cut off right so gotta need that and right now I just put two of these camping mat inflatable mat on top well the kids is gonna be sleeping up here so who cares and this thing is uh, one eighth, I think, one eighth uh, hardwood sheet, and it, it's I made it, of course, stronger than the original one. The strong, the the original one only got like two, two frame going <laughs> in the middle. It's kind of yeah, I don't know. It says it can hold three hundred pound. I'm not sure that two one by one can hold I mean uh, two by two can hold 300 pounds hmm weird and it was all stapled in too there's no screw at all well this one I got a uh, five frame in there so and it was screwed in and the bottom you can see took off the support the original one because the original one it only runs to half now it runs the whole whole length and this side too so just use some one by two and then yeah just like the original one and so it's supported on all sides and that side was screwed in so you don't want to I, I think you don't want to like completely screw the whole frame into the RV because when it, you are on the roll and you is supposedly to have room to wiggle so yeah so it, this should be fine it will move up and down but it wouldn't come down and there you have it now i got two double bunk it's very nice and uh, still waiting for the mattress i've been looking all over the internet but we're the Canadian website there's no mattress I can't find any any of them selling these uh, teddy bear bunk series mattress 
exactly like this one. I just couldn't find it. So I guess I'll get the dealership to help me out with this one. Yeah, skip out. Okay, for the guys that want to know what kind of brake controller I got, this is the one. It's a Echo Wireless Brake Control. Okay, and it's wireless, so it's tiny. You know, all you gotta do basically is just plug the RV side into here, RV cable here, and then plug this into your truck. There you go, and then you got download the app, and then you got wireless brake control. But one thing I don't like is you gotta keep the app open. So you kinda have to keep your cell phone plugged in, otherwise it will drain your battery. And once the app is on and you hit the brake and the RV brake too. And you can also do it manually, just touch that, just hit that button on your cell phone. You press it, it brakes too. It's pretty neat.